welcome to the listening room here. Tonight. So we're going to start things out with Stacy Labriola. Stacy, oh, okay. take us somewhere. All right, thanks, Ken. This song uh, was written um, uh, uh, really after reading Carl Sagan's uh, essay, Pale Blue Dot. That's the name of the song. And the first line is from his essay. So if I ever do publish it, I guess I'd have to get him permission. And uh, Anyway, I read the best quote just this morning by Golda Meir. It said, someday children will study war like um, they, and be disgusted with it like they are cannibalism. Isn't that an amazing thought that we could get? I mean, it's so beautiful in such an ugly uh, way. But, um, uh, and so anyway, this is sort of like, uh, I thought this was a good Christmas song because it's a little, little bit like peace. And there's a part for you guys to sing if you want. I'll teach it to you as we go along. This is home is your part. Or you can say peace on earth. But, um. Look again at that dot. It's here, it's home, that's us. That's us. Look again at that dot. Boat of dust suspended on a sunbeam. That's us. A voyager picture four billion miles away. Can't see the figures in this vast cosmic plane. Thirty-two degrees above the ecliptic.
song. Um, I've got a really good memory. It's called Design. It's a work in progress, and it's a labor of love. Um, but thankfully, I've come across some wonderful people in my life who've tried to help me put those ideas on paper, which can be extremely difficult when it's something personal to you. Um, but I found a topic that I love to talk about, and it's love itself. And this is the first original I've ever written, co-written with a friend and vocal coach of mine, Claude Stein. And this is the first time, second time, we're doing an acoustic version of it. And the name of it is called Your Song. Thank you. 
by the way, I, I encourage artists to bring uh, merchandise. Uh, and uh, I hope they did. Uh, we have some merch out there if you want to buy some CDs. There's a bunch of things out there, including a DVD called uh, Before the Music Dies, a very, very powerful uh, documentary put on by some very, very cool people that really paint a picture of the battle that we're in for music right now. And it is a battle. We're in it. So, so uh, this is a new song. Uh, it's called, uh, you want to do it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's called This Moment. Tomorrow handles my fate. The days to come are days to go. Each one to live, each one. Yeah. 
down to Writer's End. There's some amazing music coming. Check out the merch in there. Buy some merch. Say hello. Have some cookies and refreshments. We're going to make this happen real quick. I'm going to do a little one of my favorite Christmas carols. Um, comes from a, a poem that was written by a woman called Christina Rossetti back in the 1800s and it was put to music by Gustav Holst. I don't know either of those people <laughs> or why I should, but their song remains and it's a really beautiful song. So we've adapted it and I'm going to do the whole thing tonight, but we'll do our version of it.
Mm. Oh yeah.
to make a bad song sound okay. <laughs> this is where it really is. This is the song. You're hearing the songs. That's what all this is about. It's just a song in its purest form.
Fleming going to come up. So why don't you come up? You got some lyrics there. And again, listen. These, these this is it. You know, this is real music. These, these people are, are good at what they do, and please support them. If they have merch out there, buy the merch, tell them you love them, send them an email, get on their mailing list, go out to their shows, because this is life, you know? This this isn't <coughs> us together in Madison Avenue. This is life. This is life we're feeling here tonight. The real writing of the song, and uh, I just I love you all, and thank you for being here. Give it down to Thank you so much, Ken, for having let me be a part of this tonight. It's a real honor, especially to sing the last song as a sing-along with all of you, having lyrics out there for everyone. That's a real treat. Uh, while I'm thanking Ken's, I'd like to thank Ken, a friend back here, who introduced me to the listening room a couple years ago. And uh, he said, this is right up your alley. you got to come check it out. And I did, and luckily started playing there and uh, became a part of this community a little bit, as much as I can when I'm, when I'm here. And uh, he was telling me, he was showing me Main Street and telling me how they, they put the lights up and it gets real nice Christmas feeling and uh, it inspired this song because I just fell in love with this little town and I'm um, happy to be singing here with you tonight. Merry Christmas. <clears throat> down Main Street and the Storm King's dressed in white Breakneck Ridge has got slippery Still the views are out of sight And the steel guitars from Cold Spring Radio ring like sleigh bells now and then Must be Christmas time and Cold Spring once again In these huts in Highlands, headed west at 17. Scared to death, my life would fall into some small town routine. But my California dreams were like the plans of my sin man. Came home for Christmas time. Sometimes you've got to run away to find where you belong. You might find you're running to where you've been all along.
more time. Two more times. Bless you on your way home, and just stick, stick around and meet people, talk again. Support the support uh, independent artists. Right, it's really a good thing. It's gonna make you feel good. And, uh, one terrific thing, have everybody here. Because one thing you can tell if someone's an artist, you look at them. And you, sort of see something in their eyes and it says, I bet my life on what I do. Mm -hmm. And it's very nice to help give them a home. Mm -hmm. I hope we all come back and thank you so much. Jeff, what'd you think? Awesome. Great to see the listening room back.